Keep your heads lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Colossians 3.12. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of the mind, meekness, long-suffering. All right, so no one knows the day or hour, but one thing we do know, because Jesus Christ said it, is that there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And we know the word says, for yet a little while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. And we know that Israel is at war, day 229, and it's not going to stop because they still have hostages and they're never going to find all the hostages. And now on to the signs in the sun. And as you can see right there, sunspot 3685 is earth facing now. And here's what's so gigantinormous about that. Strong's Greek, the definition is to profit, help. But Strong's Hebrew, 3685, the definition is a heavenly constellation. And when you scroll down, you can see that it means Orion. And most of you know that Orion is in the Bible three times. And when you go to Orion, you could see right next to Orion on the right is what they call Taurus. And that's where the conjunction's happening with the sun and Jupiter and Venus and Uranus. And right in Orion, next to Betelgeuse, is Gallia. And when you look up the meaning of Gallia, it means God shall redeem. And we know he's coming to get us. That he went to prepare a place for us and he's coming back to get us, family. So keep your heads up. So Gallia means God shall redeem. And the sunspot that's earth facing right now means Orion. So not only does Gallia mean God shall redeem, we have a full moon tomorrow. And when you go to time and date, and you look at the moon phases for UTC, Universal Time Coordinated, you could see tomorrow, May 23rd, the full moon is at 1353 UTC. And when you go to Strong's 1353, the definition is redemption. And remember, Gallia means God shall redeem. And he will. Our redemption draweth near, family. And right below Orion is 12P, Ponds Brooks. That means bridge and river. And here's what's gigantinormous about Ponds Brooks. The sun, when it let off one of those CMEs, it ripped off the comet Ponds Brooks tail. It's right here. And again, Ponds means bridge. And Jesus Christ is the bridge. And Brooks means river. And we're headed to the river of life, family. And the point of this video and all my videos is... Jesus Christ said, when you see all these things come to pass, lift your heads up, our redemption draweth near. And I have the Holy Spirit all over me, holy bumps, hair standing straight up, all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And this is just a short video to keep you encouraged and keep your heads up. And all glory to our Father, my next video is going to be the biggest video I've ever done. And Jesus Christ told me, wait till after Pentecost to drop this video and these signs and you're going to be highly persecuted like never before. So I'm going to rejoice through everything, through all the persecution. Praise you, Father. I have the Holy Spirit blowing me up right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. And praise you, Jesus Christ, for your signs right where you said they would be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. And they are just like always. And all glory to our Father, the backpacks came in and the Bibles came in and I have a bunch of supplies. All I need to do is go to Costco and get the food and the socks and I'm ready to hit the streets again. And I have four tents and I'm going to try to order more. All glory to our Father and thank you family for all your support and love and encouragement. I love you. Even my enemies, I love you too. And real quick before I go. I posted this a few times, all glory to our Father. This is for his glory. And it's for our brother Ronnie in his adoption quest. 
His wife abandoned him and wants a divorce. She moved back to Thailand where she's from and left her kids, their kids, with him and he needs to adopt them so he could sign the paperwork for school and anything else that they need help with so he could be their legal parent and guardian. And God led him to a reputable adoption lawyer and the fees are going to be anywhere from 3,500 to 5,000. And as you can see right here, he wrote on the GoFundMe and it's true, brothers and sisters, I'm working two jobs while paying the bills and attending to the kids' needs. It is virtually impossible for me to raise the funds needed for this adoption. And on such short notice, I plead for your help and pray the Lord will ease my burden. So I'm reaching out to you, family, the body of Jesus Christ, for anybody that can help Ronnie with this. And store the riches up in heaven for doing something out of love. If you have the strength to pray for him, please do. And if you have the funds to donate and Jesus Christ is leading you to help him and these kids, even a few dollars, whatever you're led to give, please donate. I'm going to put the link under this video in the description box. And we already have the faith and we know it's done. And I just got hit with the Holy Spirit again. Confirmation, let's go. And he posted an update with a picture of his daughters, which they are our sisters. And his wife, even though she left them and went back to Thailand and wants a divorce and abandoned the kids, she's going through a lot. So I'm asking you to pray for her too, please. And he's already received 17 donations, 17 victory. So thank you, family, everyone that donated. God will bless you in heaven and on earth. And until he comes and we're changed in the twinkle of an eye, Keep your heads up, family. Our redemption draweth near.